is people. I'm about to get my COVID shot. I dropped the vaccine. Next year, so I vaccine may get still. And Kevin, what is your date of birth, please? 23rd of the 481. All right. Don't so the vaccine that you are getting today is the Pfizer. Okay. That's the one I wanted, so I'm glad. Today is the 11th of May. I'm taking my first shot, the Pfizer. Is it? Stay tuned. I'ma get poked. I'm such a chicken right now, yo. I'm like the biggest chicken you'll ever see right now. I'm doing it at my workplace. Can you imagine? Say big man, big man. Thank you, I'm My name is computer. My name chicken out, man. My name is as nervous as I am. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> can't chicken out. I need to chicken out. I'm telling you, the needle is just a tiny little thing, okay? It, it's just it's just tiny. I'm used to needles, to be honest. <laughs> You've got tats. I'm, I'm used to needles. It's just the adrenaline. It's just what, sir? The adrenaline. Ah, okay. All right. So I've got a few questions for you. Um, have you been sick in the last couple days? Any signs of COVID? Any coughing, shortness of breath? Changes to taste or smell, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, body aches, nothing like that. Perfect. Okay. Have you ever had any reactions to vaccines before? Not to my knowledge. And any uh, allergies to medications that you know of? No. Okay. Perfect. Have you had any vaccines in the last two weeks? No. Any tetanus, MMR, nothing like that? No, only my regular shots that I do every two weeks. Your regular testosterone. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. Um, vaccine, okay. And. How are you today? Um, any issues with your immune system that you know of? Not to my knowledge. There was a time when I was. Um, had, when I had low iron. Sorry? Right? I had low iron, okay. but not anymore. Other than that, I just take high blood pressure meds. Okay, so like no cancer, no chemotherapy. Okay, you're not taking anything called prednisone? No. Okay, <coughs> all right. And any uh, bleeding disorders that you know of? Or are you taking any blood thinners? No. Okay, and have you ever fainted with a needle before? No. Perfect. All right, that makes it easy. All right, and we're going on the left shoulder, are we? Yeah. So, like I said, the most I would expect is uh, a little bit of tenderness where the needle goes in for the first dose. Second dose, you might start to feel a little bit ill after. Um, for myself, with my second dose, uh, I was feeling a little bit fatigued, meaning I got about a half hour into a run and I was feeling winded. I still did the next half hour, it just my time was up. Um, two of my co-workers though, like they were like fever, body aches, chills, like headaches for like 12, 24 hours. 
But that's after the second dose. And the second dose is how long after? Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing right now for timing. It, I almost want to say 120 days, but I'm not certain on that number. Okay. Do we have to take the second one though? The second dose, so the first dose brings your uh, protection up to, I'm probably using old numbers, it might be up to the 80%, mm. but uh, I want to say 68% is the number in my mind right now. It may be higher than that. And then the second dose will bring you up into a 90% protection. So, it's maybe sort of kind of a good idea, but okay, so this is what you're getting. Pfizer BioNTech, if you're interested. Okay? All right, and you're up for this? Yep. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna stick the needle, okay? We'll go right here. What's that? Should I lower my hand? Uh, it's totally up to you, man. All right. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Quick poke here. One, two, three. That's it. You're all done? Yep. All done. Okay, now we're going to get you to hang out for 15 minutes mm -hmm. just as a precaution. Yeah. Uh, if you start to feel off in some way, if you start to feel sick, then just get somebody's attention. Okay. Okay. And give me one second. It is right now 4.35, so we'll keep you around until 4.50, okay? Okay. Four fifty. See it there. I just did it. I braved up and I manned up. Even though I feel like a chicken shit right now, but you know that bad. No? Like needles, I'm not afraid of needles because I shoot myself every two weeks, right? First it was every week, and now I'm doing every two weeks. I'm not afraid of needles, but it's just the whole anxiety that comes with it. You know what I mean? So people out there. If you don't feel like you're not ready for it, you don't want to take on a vaccine. Just take a vaccine because at the end of the day, it should do more good than bad. Alright, so I'll see you guys in 15 minutes and then when I get home, I'll touch base and do another piece. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'll touch base and do another piece. So you all can see what's what. Alright, until next piece of video is added. Yo, I took the vaccine. So now I'm on my 15 minutes. minutes later and I'm feeling okay. And that's my COVID passport. And this is my VIP sticker to show that I did my COVID. What do you call it? My vaccine. I'm going to get freebies. $25 gift card. I'm going to get T Martins. $10 gift card just to come to the vaccine. Anybody else want to come do for them and collect them free? This and give me. <laughs> Anyways, we drive home, you know, so I'm get to home. I'm reach home. <clears throat> she said I'm acting disoriented. All because I put on my phone and I don't know which part of the phone there. And I've been walking around the house trying to find my phone. So she thinks I am disoriented. <laughs> Anyways, I got be there now because once I come from work, I just strip walk to the living room. And my boxers and my marina head straight to the shower. That's basically it coming out. My body touch no way in the house till my bed. I'm not greet my daughter them yet. Because you know I have to shower. So, yep, my good so far. It's like an hour now since I take your vaccine. I'm my good so far. <laughs> yes, guys, this is one week after the vaccine. 
took the vaccine on the 11th of May and today is like a week after I'm doing all right didn't really have much side effects just a little bit of soreness in the area where I got the injection and um, I was kind of tired sleepy for the first say 12 hours I was really in and out of sleep but other than that never really serious well I'm glad never did too serious because we couldn't really handle it but yes people if you need to go out there and take the vaccine to secure yourself and your family to better your chances i think you should um you'll watch the video um, um this is the end in the recap of the video so you'll see what the person who gave me the injection had to say about the injection also based on my researches that i have done and the conversation i had with my personal doctor um the vaccine doesn't prevent you from getting COVID. What it does is build up your immune system so that if you should get the COVID, the vaccine already sent a message to your your body to develop the what you call it, the organisms or the whatever it be to fight against the, the virus. It, it 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 sends a message to your immune system to, to deal with the antibodies, I think to fight the virus so the vaccine can be like a flu shot we take the flu shot it, it, there's no guarantee that you'll not get the flu what happens is when you get the flu it will not be as bad as if you never took the, the vaccine or the, the flu shot because when you take the flu shots you can just take over the counter pills or meds if you should contract the flu it might be the same case for the vaccine if you take the vaccine and you should get the covid then you can stay at home and isolate and just take the over-the-counter flu medications or pain medications to get better like unlikewise if a person does not take the vaccine they might be the ones end up in the hospital or on the drip and everything um don't take my words i'm not a doctor but it's just what my doctors told me that i'm telling you guys so i hope this video enlightens somebody or encourages somebody i took the vaccine because i work in a shelter homeless shelter and um i don't want to not um protect myself and like you know the virus can be anywhere you just walk into it it can be in the atmosphere somebody just sneeze you walk in the sneeze never had on the proper gears over your face all those molecules get to your body and boom you get the virus so gotta protect myself be on the safe side i have a family um, to protect as well because i don't want Shay or the baby to take the vaccine so i rather take it and protect them also i get to understand that if you should take the vaccine and for any reason you come down with the covid your chances of passing the covid to somebody else is minimal uh maybe two out of every 10 person who comes around you who never took the vaccine and are not wearing the proper gears will get it from you like i said roughly two out of ten will get it from you because you have taken the vaccine so the molecules are the variants of the vax of the covid that would be in your body would be less because you took the vaccine because the, the vaccine your immune system would already be fighting against the virus if you should contract the virus unlike a person who never took the vaccine who has don't have the antibodies to to fight against the the virus their immune system is not as strong to fight against the virus so they will pass it on to somebody else faster and 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 it's like more contagious from a person who never took the vaccine that's my summary based on my health uh, practitioner bad. slash physician so yeah basically that's it in a nutshell thank you for watching this video remember to like share comment and if you have not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel for more goodies more information more pranks coming in the week because I'm busy with work, so I have not get to schedule my videos. But more pranks coming in the week because I'm taking two days off Sunday and Monday. So I'll be loading some more videos, some more jokes. So you'll see more of Shay and the Davis family. Until next time, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, good afternoon to you and peace out.